Okay, so today I'm feeling led to pray for stroke recovery. So I, I feel like the Lord wants to heal. Jesus wants to heal those uh, people who have been uh, tormented by lack of mobility, lack of feeling, lack of nerve function, paralysis, uh, memory uh, due to stroke. And so we're going to pray for anything stroke related, okay? So if that's you, then uh, let's pray and just listen and pray this over you. And if it's someone you know who can't listen to it for themselves or can't play it for themselves, then play it over them. You know, take the, take the phone or whatever into the room with them and, and play it over them if you can. Uh, but I'm believing for miraculous healing here of things that to man are really hard to do, like recovery from stroke. Okay, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for being our healer. I thank you for coming now. Holy Spirit, come please. Come in power. Glorify your name. Glorify the name of Jesus. Come upon the person listening who has had stroke symptoms. Come with your healing fire. I decree healing. I decree complete healing and restoration over this person now in the name of Jesus. All nerves fire again. Nerves that have died come to life again. Nerves that were severed be renewed, be complete again. Neural pathways from head to toe be formed again where they need to be. Neurons in the brain come back. I, I breathe life into this person, life into this beautiful child you created. Life. Come back to life. I speak to, your, to the body of this person. Come back to life in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of the Lamb has paid for your recovery. So recover, be healed, and be made whole in the mighty name of Jesus. So all numbness must go, all nerve function restored, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Holy Spirit, thank you. More of your healing fire, more of your healing power upon this person, please. I ask for more, a greater touch, two, three, four, even tenfold increase in your presence right now. Now, as you're listening, I want you to, to wait and sense the presence of the Lord. If you feel the presence of the Lord right now, great. Um, ask for more. And if you don't feel anything, that's okay. Ask for his presence, but that's okay. Sometimes people are healed without feeling anything. And what I want you to do is an act of faith as you're listening to this try to do something you couldn't do before try to lift an arm or um, you know move a leg or or test um, sensation where you didn't have sensation before try to do something holy spirit thank you for your healing fire and presence right now upon the listener thank you for breathing life again where death tried to steal i take authority I take authority over the effects that death has had on this person. Sickness is death. Infirmity is death. And I, I bind them. I bind them in the name of Jesus and cast them out. Those afflictions must leave. And, and the consequences of those afflictions I command to leave as well. And command restoration into the body of the listener right now. Holy Spirit, thank you for your healing fire and presence. Lord, a more touch, more touch, please. I sense the Lord is touching many of you right now. So if he's touching you, ask for more. Tell him you want fire from your head to your toe. The fire of God. He is so good. 
He is so precious and he is so holy and pure. And there is no sickness in him. There is no sickness in his presence. So what we want is his presence with you. His, his presence is life. We want his presence with you. The Almighty God, our Messiah Jesus, we want his presence with you, his Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. So, again, I want you to try to test something you couldn't do before as an act of faith. Believe. Just believe. And if, if you're doubtful, that's okay. I will have faith for you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, just try it. Just try to do what you couldn't do before. Just try to do what you couldn't do before. And if you're feeling his presence, continue inviting him. His presence is actually the spirit of God manifesting around you. He's, he's all around you anyways. He's always around you and he, he's, he holds everything together. But when his presence comes, it, it's something breaks through. It's he, like heaven breaking through into the natural that we can sense him. We can sense him, the spiritual realm, like breaking into the natural but the good spiritual realm, because there's no wickedness in him. He is pure and holy and right and, and good. And so, so just seek his presence. Continue, if he's touching you, letting him touch you. And if you need to loop this video, if you're still being touched, ask for more. Lord, right now, I ask in the name of Jesus, more fire upon the listener. More of your holy presence upon the listener right now. I ask that your presence would not leave them until they are healed in the name of Jesus. I decree healing over them. And when you heal, Lord God, you do it perfectly. You don't do it partially. So what I ask you as a listener to do is not settle for partial. If your healing comes all at once, praise be to God. If it's incremental, don't stop. Press in. Loop the video. Continue. Continue until you have no energy left if you need to come back tomorrow But continue pressing in until you have your full healing because God is perfect and he heals perfectly and I'm believing for your full restoration Okay, and leave your healing testimony. So if God heals you, it's him who heals you not me It's him. It's his presence his spirit. It is in the name of Jesus Christ who is a Messiah the Son of God under whom all authority, on whom all authority rests. He is the authority, and he has authority over your sickness. It's not your sickness anymore, forgive me. It's actually not your sickness anymore because we've cast it out. So it's, an, it's a trespasser. Consider it a trespasser, but he, he holds authority over it. And if you don't know this Jesus, it's super important that you do. And there's videos on this website there's one to tell you the, the good news of Jesus. There, there's videos for you to pray to get revelation of him, of God. Um, there's videos for you if you do follow Jesus already, but don't really feel like you know him and understand him and have intimacy with him. There's a video uh, explaining what intimacy is, an intimacy primer, and, and a prayer you can pray to ask him to bring you into greater intimacy because our whole goal on this earth is to get to know the living God. The Bible says that is life, to know God and, and Jesus Christ whom he sent, who is of God and from God and himself is God and in the fullness of, the, of God the Father on, on the earth. So um, the purpose is to get to know him. So we must have intimacy. We, we must have personal relationship with him. And the assurance of the salvation, uh, our saving grace, that, that we're going to go to heaven with him and be with him eternally in our hearts. And only intimacy with him can bring that. Only the Spirit of God can bring that. So if you don't know this Jesus, Jesus is the Savior. He is the only way to the Father, God. He is with the Father. He's one with the Father. They're inseparable. 
and we serve one God. But he came to us in the flesh as Christ Jesus, Emmanuel. So if you don't know him, it's so important that you do. So listen to the videos or go to other sites. Uh, there's a prayer. If you dis if he has healed you and you said, he, oh my gosh, I don't know him, but I want to give my life to him because he is God. There's a prayer for the for salvation on this on the site you can go find it it'll be linked from the video you can uh you can go pray that prayer and give your life to jesus it's so important okay know that he is the only way to god and he is healer but he heals people even who don't believe because he's that good he's perfect he created all of us and he loved all of us so much that he came to save us and bring us into eternal life and eternal relationship with him starting now. So God bless you. Loop this video. Stay in his presence. Post your healing testimony, please. Post it in the comments so that we can share it with others and you can give God glory. If it's unsafe for you to share it with others, tell me that so that I won't, I won't share it. They all get reviewed by me. But um, post it please give God the glory because he is the one who is the healer I'm just a man you're just a person we're, we're all just creations of the Lord our God who love him okay God bless you thank you for listening and share your testimony please in the name of Jesus be blessed amen